What's up guys, it's James back here from Seacoast and we're back today with another plugin review. Today we're going to be reviewing security plugins, specifically Defender Security. Now before we get into this video, I just want to get out there that my review of the plugin isn't technical security testing, more what you get for the plugin, what they offer, how easy it is to install and use. As with any website in the world, there's always going to be certain vulnerabilities. So unfortunately, I can't guarantee you about every security risk. However, having some security rather than no security is much better to have. So want to have at least some good security plugins, whether they're handling login, brute force attempts, blocking scripts and lots of other things. So here we have Defender Security, Malware Scanner, Login Security and Firewall. It's got just over 90,000 active installations and it's kept itself to a five star review. It says that it's a malware scanner, an IP blocker, audit log, antivirus scanner, firewall, two-factor authentication, brute force login security and more. Sounds pretty good so let's get going. With that installed I can see here on the left that we have Defender and we do have a few options. We have Defender, recommendations, malware scanning, audit login, firewall, WAF. I'm still not quite sure what WAF stands for but it's about turning on all their security recommended uh, or default settings for security. We'll have a look at that again in a minute. Two-factor authentication, tools, notifications, settings, and tutorials. So it looks like a pretty full-on security plugin. As with all these reviews, we're just going to go one by one just to see what each section holds. Seems to say the same page as when I clicked on WAF. So help us protect your site from malware and hackers. Yes, please. Activate and configure. Well, that was pretty easy. I'll have to use my glasses for this one. Before you laugh, I do have some sellotape holding the middle because I accidentally broke them the other day. So until the new ones arrive, this will do. We've got malware scanning. Um, we've got file change detection. That's one thing that we're allowed with an unpro version. Known vulnerabilities and suspicious code we would have to unlock with pro. We've got three recommendations. One being update old security keys, disable the file editor, uh, and prevent information disclosure. Let's see where this takes us. It looks like from here we can actually go and basically do the recommendations that they tell us for current security. In my case, disabling the file editor, updating old security keys, other recommendations, and preventing information disclosure. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and do this because this is basically like a test site. It doesn't really matter what this site happens. I'm probably about to test quite a few security plugins. Obviously, do have a look and actually read what it's telling you to do because sometimes you might need to do it, sometimes you might not, but it does seem to have some good recommendations to keep you safe. It's fairly well easy to understand, um, you know, the dashboard or essentially the dashboard has everything that you might need to access quite quickly. Everything from your tools to your two-factor authentication, again, we'll get to that shortly. Quite interesting, you've also got mask login area, which you can enable. I mean, sometimes you have to get different plugins to mask the login area. That's instead of being able to do like a WP admin and then just be able to log in as you. Go ahead and try it out. It gives you this as part of the free version, so you can actually create a new login slug. Um, and anybody that tries to visit the old one can get taken to like a 404 page where, you know, if they do WP-admin, they'll get taken somewhere else, essentially. Got a lot of other things to do with security headers, horned passwords. So it's quite interesting if you get this for free as well, especially because you actually have to pay for some places to do this to check on existing database breaches and records. Apparently here, they can do it for free for you. And then when you try to create a password, they will warn you to say that this has been part of a data leak. Very interesting. You can also force everybody to do a password reset if there has been a security breach. Now, I really like this feature, and actually it's something with... I use quite another popular security plugin called WordFence, which we will do a review about, which I, I recommend. However, I haven't actually seen that there, and that is good. Obviously, you don't want your site to be hacked, but if it does get hacked, you want to be able to force people to reset their passwords, especially if you've got people logging on. And then, of course, we have Google Recapture, which is always recommended. Next, malware scanning. So we don't get everything without the pro version, but it does do a basic scan to look for file change detections. When it does find something, you can also delete it. You can also choose files to ignore and go ahead with the settings. You can not only scan core files, but also plugin files as well. Now, I'm pretty sure the audit logging is pro. Yeah, it's part of the pro version, so let's move on to the firewall. This is quite good for brute force attempts because you can now limit the amount of time. So let's say somebody's using a bot and they're trying just over and over with your passwords to log in. You can now basically stop them and, uh, you know, with a message, you've been locked out just to too many login attempts, which I think is important. So there's a lot of bot attacks these days. You can also ban certain usernames. That means that you can ban names like admin and administrator if people are trying to log in as that. Cool, we also have 404 detection. This can now detect how many times somebody's gone to a 404 page, meaning they are 
essentially trying to find vulnerabilities in different pages that you got and different URLs, meaning that you can also ban them by essentially viewing too many 404 pages. Very cool, I like that. You can also turn it off for logged in users. I won't go on the IP banning, but the IP banning also means that you can ban or have a block list of IPs that aren't allowed to access your website and an allow list of IPs. Um, you can disallow yourself or you can allow yourself to make sure that you never get blocked and then disallow other IPs. One other cool thing that I noticed on there is that you can actually block by country. Now, normally this is a pro version. However, they're saying if you create a free account um, on their website, you can actually use that. So in essence, block different countries without needing the pro paid version. Just simply sign up to their site or membership, but it's free. We've got user agent block list, logs of your lockout, so you can actually check out who has been logged out and for what reason. And you can also go ahead and change the settings. Let's go on WAF. Does it show us something now that we've enabled it? Okay, so our oh, web application firewall, the upgrade to pro. So we won't be looking at that. Two-factor authentication. This is an important one and you do get it for free. It seems that it's pretty much just a case of activating it and then setting it up for different user roles whether you've got to force the um, the authentication. Really like that. You can also change what the title on the app comes. So let's say if you're using Google App Authenticator, what does it show as? Very nice. Um, you've got a choice of Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator or Authy. They're very well known, to be honest. And they've also got an integration with WooCommerce. So if you're using WooCommerce, you can also enable it through uh, WooCommerce and through this security plugin. So with tools, and I believe we've visited this uh, very quickly earlier, you can change the URL slug, so your login slug, uh, where it wants to be redirected to. Change certain security with the headers of your website, porn passwords, password resets, and Google recapture. We already looked at that earlier. On the notifications tab, we can also set up certain notifications for the free version, such as security recommendations, malware scanning, results, I'm assuming, and firewall notifications also. Meaning that if you have your mailing system set up, um, you can then essentially get notified on your email as well if something's gone wrong or if it's detected something. Settings don't look too complicated. Um, you've got your basic configuration, which you can also edit. What's going to happen in on the installation, which actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reset and restore or remove because obviously I look through many plugins and I do like when plugins have that because then they won't leave data that you don't really want on your website anymore after you've left that plugin. And we can also go and reset settings if you do need to reset any of the settings. Let's say if you started, you made a mistake and you need to reset it. So all in all, I want to say it's quite a thorough security plugin. It was actually much better than I expected. It gives you lots of different free features and um, really good ones to keep your site secured as well meaning that you only need one plugin rather than multiple plugins to do multiple different things. Now, the only thing that I will say about plugins that are smaller in terms of they're not in the millions of use um, and they could be new or they're just not a well-known plugin is that, of course, you do risk, and this isn't personal to this plugin, but any security plugin, you do risk, um, obviously, the developers going, we're not going to look after this anymore. So just when you do use lesser well-known plugins, just make sure that they are updated. Um, you know, check it every month or so just to make sure that it's still being updated on the plugin list. Because obviously the plugin being up to date is also super important in security. Otherwise, I would definitely recommend this one. Um, I really enjoyed using it and it's probably one that I will use on other sites going forward because it has some really intuitive features. Being proactive is always the way to stay secure on WordPress. Now, popping up now are another few videos of plugin reviews that we have. If you haven't yet, make sure to like our video, hit that subscribe button also, and I will catch you on the next video.